Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, I have here with me the Mary Ellen Mark Book of Everything. And it is a three volume set of all her life's work, all her photos spanning from 1963 all the way up until her death in 2015. So it's pretty big, pretty heavy. I actually couldn't even lift it myself. My fiance had to put it here for me. And it just came out, I just got it, and it sold out pretty quickly. So I thought maybe I'd share it with you guys just in case you didn't get your hands on it. And I wanted to talk about how important I think her work is and how beautiful it is and just share some photos with you guys and share my thoughts. So I hope you guys will stick around, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back after this. So if you don't know Mary Ellen Mark, she was a great photojournalist and a documentary photographer in 1963 up until her death in 2015. In fact, her last two books were actually this uh, Mary Ellen Mark on the Portrait and the Moment, which is a great book. It's one of the first books I had of hers and that teaches you, in her own words, tips on portrait photography. And then her famous book about Tiny, who was a girl who she followed and photographed her life from uh, being, I think she was 13 years old, living on the streets up until she was a, an adult with many children and created a really good relationship with her, a trusting relationship, which I think is something that is key for that type of documentary photography. What I love about her work is that she wasn't mainstream. She had the eye for realism. And I think that she saw people struggling and thought that it was important for everyone else to see it as well. Her, her pictures often depict people in their real form. It's not, it's not a snapshot of a portrait of someone saying, you know, say cheese and putting on a fake smile. It's them in their element. They're, you know, if they're in a pageant, if they're in a drag queen show, she catches their real personality. Especially as a photojournalist in the 1960s, in a time when Leave it to Beaver was on TV and, you know, they pr life was portrayed as perfect, uh, she was photographing life being not perfect at all you know there was real life going on out in the real world and she would photograph it and make sure that it was something that people were going to be seen and aware of and i think that's so important even today so the three volume set actually includes 600 photos of her work or 600 plus photos of her work over her lifetime and it was created and edited by her husband, Martin Bell. It has that extra touch that it was made by someone who intimately knew Mary Ellen and probably intimately knew how she would want her work portrayed. So um, the book is beautiful. The, the case is like fabric. I don't know if that's linen. And it's got three really heavy volumes inside of it. I... Each one has a cover on it of one of her taking a picture. Martin also included quotes next to the photos and interviews by Mary Ellen, and um, it kind of gives you a glimpse into her thought process behind some of the pictures, which is great. I really love that because, you know, we can't talk to her personally, so it's really nice to get some insight into what she was thinking and how her mind worked. For example, she often mentions her longing to be free and to explore the world after having a bad childhood and I think that experience and those feelings are what made her such a great photographer. I think that background gave her the ability to have the empathy and the ability to see people that weren't being seen at the time or even still are not being seen. And I think that her craving for freedom, even as a little girl, is, is what gave her the bravery and the fearlessness that she needed to even be this type of photographer. You need bravery and fearlessness to go into these neighborhoods and go into these people's homes that are um, going through things and struggling. Sometimes she went into dangerous areas, people with guns, gangs, or people shooting up heroin, things like that, and she photographed them. And although some of her photos are hard to look at, they're real. This stuff is actually going on out there. 
still, even today. I think that is one reason that her work is so important, because it makes us see things that we don't really want to see, but we have to. We need to be made to feel uncomfortable. We need to see the world and the people in it the way they are if we're ever going to live together as a peaceful society. I believe photographers like Mary Ellen Mark leave behind work that tries to ensure that that happens. And this three volume set does just that. It forces you to see real life. It forces you to see real people and it forces you to think about the world we live in. And I think that is some of the best photography you can find, when it can force you to think about those uncomfortable things. Photographers like this, with a body of work like this, shows that people around the world are all different. They're, we don't all look the same, we don't all like the same things, and we don't all have the same lives. But we do share the same world. And if we can look at pictures like this and see people that are different from us, it may make the world a little bit better, as corny as that sounds. If you can look at these pictures and think that something different from what you are is beautiful despite it being different, then I believe the world can get a little bit better. <laughs> I think photographers like Mary Ellen Mark need empathy, not sympathy for their subjects, while at the same time having the fortitude to separate her personal feelings from her work. Because I'm sure seeing these people struggling and seeing them going through what they're going through, I'm sure at times that had to be very difficult to, to step away from it at the end of the day and, you know, keep work separated from life. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments if you've seen Mary Ellen's work, what you think of it, if you know any other photographers like her. I think Diane Arbus may be similar, but um, if you know of any others, let me know, because I love photography like this. And I encourage you, if you can, if you're not able to find one at a decent price to get the full set, um, I encourage you to pick up her other books because they're just as great. So again, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button. And until next time, stay motivated and keep shooting.